all right all right so we did get here we got here to the dock and i'm gonna see if i can pull this bad boy to the cleaning table Rinse them out or not? Yeah. Anyway, that's on. Mucha mosca arriba la chingada, no, que se puede bleach a nadie. Oh, you do wear? In my bag. Oh, really? Uh, one. <laughs> yeah, I think I got one in there. Could be in there. I know my nephew was fucking with it yesterday. I hope he fucking left it in there. I don't believe it in there. Well, I'll tell you something right now, dude. That's over well over six feet, dude. See? Oh, yeah. Yep. So get up.
it'll work out. First layer, it's always hard. Then you get deeper, it gets easier. I call butterfly in it. blade in your hand so it doesn't slip off your hand and boom so she goes right here there's a hard fin bone there so you have to chop through that and then you're clear You got another hard fin, fin bone right here in the middle. 
You gotta cut around it with your knife. the hard fin bone right there. All the way over here. Come on. Oh. Back to this side. Cut them. You want to cut them straight through all the way around. So you hit that bone all the way around. You want to cut through that meat. All the way around. Cut through that meat. All the way around. Bring them over here. I forgot about that now. There it is. Over here. Has that bone structure like the flatheads? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's 
So it goes, it goes a little bit down to the side. You just follow the bone. You can see. See? This is just the, the back strap. Still need the belly meat. And strap. But you do the one side, you do the other side. <laughs> Is this a little different than what you've seen? Uh, yeah. I imagine they don't uh, take the whole thing off of the skin. They just take the back straps. They just yeah. open it so they get the back straps and the rest yeah. of it stays. Yeah, just to get the back straps. But I'm impressed now. We're not done yet. It's all good, it'll last. Okay. So now we have the belly meat right here. All this uh, meat that everybody leaves, man, right here. It's another back strap, bro. <laughs> You want the spine? Mm -hmm. Do you know me do it? Um, you can fry it. You can. Yeah, you can cut it, and if I process the the spine, another thing that people don't know. <laughs> no, I'm good with that. All right. Puro puro filetito. So what I'm doing here is I'm uh, taking off the mm -hmm. silver skin from the back strap, or from the back strap. From the mm -hmm. stomach mm -hmm. has this silver skin that you don't want it'll make it tough chewy and it's uh, you don't want to eat that so you just see see the silver skin yeah. oh that's coming off We got a lot more meat here. Mm -hmm. Throw bean chip extra. We're gonna rinse it. We're gonna we're going to soak it in water. Yeah. And bag it up. So no spine. Put the spine over there. And let me go ahead and show all the meat that we got out of this. So we got the belly meat. We got one back strap complete. We got another belly meat complete. Look at that. People throw this away. There's no need to everybody. Don't throw it away. Do exactly what I did right now. Boom. Put my knives to the side. I'm gonna rinse it off. You can keep on unrolling the tape while I rinse it off. So you can see how clean this meat is.
talk about our luck was on our side. We come here, here we catch a nice trophy, trophy guy. guy. Yeah. And here comes the same one. Okay. Yeah. Alright everybody. That is how you clean an alligator gar the right way and you get everything. You couldn't even keep the rib meat and um, enjoy it, but nobody really eats the rib meat, right? But you actually can. Normally, I would cut that rib meat three ways down. I would divide it in three pieces the way down, and then I would individually chop it. Boom, 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 boom. Long ways, I would chop nice uh, chunks, and you can uh, fry it like that and, and enjoy it as if they were, I always say, baby back ribs. Guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button, please, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like, share our video, comment away, let us know what you think. I know there's better ways out there. I know there's people I can probably do it faster. I know this. I'm not a professional. This is all genuine, organic footage for you all. This is what I call homegrown, everybody. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Visit our website at lcd956baitandtackle.com. Visit our email, shoot us an email at lcd956baitandtackle at gmail.com if you want to book a fishing trip. It's all inclusive. Much love on behalf of LCD956 Bait and Tackle, Los Canaleros del 956. See you next time.